I'm Dr. Arundeep Singh. I'm a Dean of Manav Rashtra Dental College, which is in Faridabad. COVID uh, has impacted, I think, all, all our lives very significantly. And in dentistry, it had a very uh, significant impact in the, re in the way that probably this was one of the very few professions where uh, you were meeting a patient without a mask, you know. COVID always we would say, okay, mask yourself and keep yourself away. But we as dentists had a major scare when COVID came in. And this was primarily because of the reason that we had one-to-one -one contact on a close, uh, close range with the patient. So a lot of innovations was done in dentistry and uh, we used suctions and we used uh, uh, air purifiers and a lot of people went in and uh, you know get got the operatories totally redesigned with uh, air evacuation systems but overall what i feel is we as dentists were much ahead and much more prepared than other professions in uh, medicine and surgery for the reason that infection protocol and taking care of our uh, instruments sterilization disinfection was very well taught to us as part of our training and was followed in dentistry all the time. Another significant change that I saw was in the use of masks. I think we as dentists are very uh, conversant to using masks, but the advent of COVID has introduced us to N95s, which was not normally being used by, by the profession. And that is the major change that I see with, with uh, impact of COVID into dentistry. So in terms of challenges of dentistry, I have a few, you know, observations. From the time that we did our dentistry nearly 25, 30 years back, dentistry has certainly evolved. We are probably at, at the moment at par with the world. Vis-a-vis -vis, uh, vis -vis equipment is there, vis-a-vis -vis technology is there. Whatever is happening internationally is being practiced in India. But the differentiation that I see is uh, more of uh, employability is one factor where a uh, lot of us dentists are facing a problem because there's a dearth of jobs in government sector for dentistry. But my thought always has been that dentistry per se is more of a self-employable skill. It's something that you learn and you practice and you generate employment. But yes, the negativity is that if you have a hospital which has uh, probably 100 or doctors, there'll be just uh, maybe three or four dentists. So that's why employability per se is difficult. Another reason that I see, uh, another challenge that I see is primarily that uh, dentists per se have to invest a lot to start their practice. Now this is unlike other profession, I, we see like say engineers or MBAs, they are you know employed immediately while dentists have spent a long time learning their skill and now they have to invest into real estate, they have to invest into equipment, they have to invest into say a lot of uh, legal issues that have to be settled as in terms of registration and all. So I feel if somehow we get good finance and easy finance available to the dentists like it is internationally. So that will go a long way in uh, creating a good environment for progressive dentistry. Another thing that I feel uh, strongly about is uh, maybe you can say that insurance sector. Now, internationally, dentists, as you all know, people come to India to get themselves treated because dentistry abroad is very expensive. But here in India, we are looking for, you know, small pennies. So if insurance sector comes in, in a big way, supports the dental treatment, supports, there's no dearth of patients. In a sense, people, all of us need some kind of oral health or the other. It's just that probably we don't have enough resources. So if insurance comes into dentistry, that will go a big way in uh, enhancing the value of the dental degree. So academically, um, again, if I look back at what I was doing and what we are doing now, primarily we see that though there have been certain changes cosmetically, but whatever I was being taught, probably I'm teaching the same things to my students. Now, recently the Dental Council of India has come up with a new policy on uh, dental education, which will go a long way in changing the face of dentistry in India. It is talking about a credit-based system 
it is talking about uh, CGPAs, it is, making, it is making dentistry at international standards. The way we evaluate dentists internationally is the same way our uh, students are also going to be evaluated. Then there's of course a talk of a exit exam that is going to happen, which is similar to what uh, the National Medical Council has recommended. So if that exit exam comes in, then there'll be you know, we say we have 300 plus colleges and there's no standardization. So that will all be taken care of with these new initiatives of the Dental Council of India. So Manav Rachna Educational Institutions are into its uh, 25th year. And Manav Rachna Dental College is now 17 years old. And I'm proud to say that the way we have, uh, we have innovated with our syllabus for the last three years since we become part of the Manavrishna family as part of a constituent uh, college of Manavrishna International Institute of Research and Studies. It is something that probably like I was saying in my previous uh, talk that uh, what Dental Council is now following what we have already been doing for last three years. So we offer our students a credit based system, we offer our students continuous assessment and formative assessment. Normally what the council says or what the current regulation says is that your assessment is just 10% is your internal assessment and 90% is how you perform on the day of the exam. But we've changed that in our university with making it nearly 50-50%. So you are evaluated on a regular basis on your academics all over the year and another 50% is how you perform on that day. So these and a lot many other innovations We've introduced a thing called uh, Research Innovation Catalyst. Now, this is uh, probably the first uh, college in the country to do it. So we've uh, uh, introduced uh, research as an undergraduate teaching subject from first year onwards. And our third, uh, first batch, which is now in third year, I'm proud to say that we have more than 100 papers published by undergraduate students in respectable journals. We have nearly 70 odd presentations, again done by undergraduate students and nearly 24, 25 awards that these people have won. So this is the kind of change that we expect that to see in dentistry. Dentistry is not only clinics, it can be academics, it can be clinical research, which is, I feel at the moment lagging, lacking in India. So we are more concerned looking at uh, uh, say the honing the clinical skills alone. So I think academics as well as clinical research needs to be given a lot more attention. Manav Rishna educational institutions are always looking forward. We've used these last two years of uh, the pandemic in, in upgrading our infrastructure to nearly international standards. Now dentistry is all about digitalization and we are also looking forward to uh, take our college forward in this digital era. We are looking at uh, procuring CAD CAM, we are looking at 3D printing, we are looking at um, uh, enhanced uh, vision mi microscopy, etc., which will make us stand out clinically also amongst all the dental colleges in India.